Hi everyone and welcome to the training talk series by Chartered Accountants Ireland. My name is Sinead from the team and I am excited to showcase to you some of our training offerings and today I'm delighted because we have Roy Chambers, the Programme Director of the Diploma in Strategic Financial Leadership joining us. Roy, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? Very good. Well, it's a delight to be with you, Sinead. Thank you so much for inviting me. So I am thrilled to have you here because it's so important to think to was give anybody interested in our programs a bit of an insight and that's what today is all about a bit of a flavor as to the program that you obviously lead for us but I'd love to get to know you a little bit more and obviously the folks tuning in so tell us a bit more about yourself Roy a bit of an introduction would be lovely. Great stuff well I'm I am Roy Chambers um, um, and as you know I'm a sort of a finance training consultant I'm based in the UK just outside London uh, my background is that of uh, an accountant um, and I've worked in finance function sort of roles and com commercial settings are uh, luckily enough throughout the world. So uh, a whole deal of experience in finance functions. And now I work with lots of different professional institutions and organizations uh, and clients delivering training on all sorts of subjects like organizational strategy and finance business partnership and people skills for finance managers, uh, as well as financial value analysis, cost and revenue management. Wow, a real mix there. Fantastic. You're kept busy anyway, Roy, by the signs of it. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so, yes. And in terms of the programme and I suppose the training that you run with ourselves, a bit more about that would be lovely. Yeah, um, uh, luckily enough, I've been working with uh, Chartered Accountants Ireland for a good three, four years now. And uh, in particular, I run all sorts of programmes relating to anything we would call management accounting. Uh, we run quite a successful um, CPD series through the spring of each year, all titled with uh, business finance as its main umbrella title, talking about things such as insightful analysis and improving performance and business partnership. Um, and of course, today, I'm totally excited to be talking to you about this new specialist diploma that we've developed together, all about strategic finance leadership. Fantastic. And just on that then, let's deep dive in, Roy. So in terms of that programme, maybe if we break it down as we talk through it, what is covered in that? What, what's the subject matter then within that programme? Yeah, it's a great it's a great question. You know, traditional CPD programs, I find throughout the world, not just in Ireland, tend to concentrate on financial reporting and taxation. They're about updating people. Uh, they're about um, really assessing specialisms and things like corporate finance or risk management. Uh, but what we're seeing is increasing demand, which is to step back from that specialism and look at something that's just broader, a sort of a frontline facing applied type of thinking, uh, looking at things like leadership skills, which go well beyond normal technical financial skills. Uh, and I think in today's age, you know, it's, it's great if you're a finance manager and you work in a business setting um, that you need to up your game in a very balanced fashion. You need to be able to apply your technical skills um, to the you know the, the strategy and the performance of your organization you need to think about your own role within finance and see if you can transform it to add some more value and embrace all those sort of digital advances that are coming our way and i think probably most importantly vitally you have to build up practice and improve your confidence with your leadership your people skills uh, better engagement better communication uh, your influencing uh, your negotiation it's this general balance of those elements uh, which is needed to really help round out uh, your development and help you lead your organization through what are pretty chaotic times at the moment um, and i think that's the balance that we've tried to do develop in designing this syllabus um, for the uh, for the diploma. So much packed in. Fantastic to, to hear you step through it. And I hope folks tuning in have you know, appreciated just how much craft has went into to putting that program together. And I suppose a, a common question might be as well, um, Roy, you know, how do you study? What is involved in, in the program? Yeah, the studying is 
nicely paced. Uh, what happens is you um, work through six different modules and the six modules are roughly spread across six months, you know, one month per module. And in any one month for a particular module, you work on some self-paced sort of introductory videos. Uh, you attend and participate at a live virtual classroom session um, and you look through all the supporting materials and further reading suggestions that we give. And when I say we, we've got a sort of a team of pretty pretty engaging and very experienced and sort of acknowledged experts in their in their subject matter which is great um, and all the work that we give you and all the work that you do on this program is all hosted in the chart of accountants ireland uh, virtual learning environment uh, for your easy access uh, and i also find that the great thing about the virtual learning environment it allows that extra benefit that we uh, for us we attract participants from all around the world. And it means that if you're a participant, your network is suddenly much, much wider. So when we ran this programme last time, for example, that cohort was from, from Ireland, obviously from the UK, uh, but from Switzerland, from Italy, uh, from the USA, from Singapore and from Australia. So a huge, huge network created for you. It's brilliant having that virtual piece just to allow that accessibility as you hit the nail on the head. and. Another question that's common, Roy, how is it assessed? <laughs> it's always frightening, isn't it, to be uh, assessed in these things. And I think people who haven't um, haven't done uh, some sort of training for a while often are pretty worried that this is somehow going to go back to them um, training as to become accountants in the first place or doing university or college or even school style exams, you know, remembering textbooks, things like that. Well, rest easy, it's not about that, that at all. Our assessment is all practical and hopefully useful. What happens is we ask participants to build up a, a sort of a, a portfolio of their learnings and their thoughts throughout the programme. It's we, we assess them on what's called learning logs, where they reflect on some of their key takeouts from the programme. Uh, we ask them to do application reports where they make deeper dives into some of the subject matter and show how they're applying it in their workplace. And then lastly, we get them to do a, a capstone presentation with a panel um, to basically provide us with their overview of what they've taken away from the programme. And of course, because of the different nature of those um, types of exercises that they're being assessed on, we're able to provide loads of detailed feedback to them as part of the assessment on things like their business case writing, their report writing and their presentational skills. So they, they sort of take away, yes, it's assessed to get your diploma, hopefully, uh, but also you get a whole body of work which you can then take back to your organisation and use usefully at your normal workplace. And not daunting at all. So thanks for stepping through that. I think it's important to address that one because it is a common question. Well, Roy, in terms of, I suppose, the ideal candidate, who is the course for? Yeah, I, I was, I'll be honest, I was quite surprised by the range of different candidates who came on our first cohort um, and they all took something from the programme, which was brilliant. You know, it's, it's very rewarding for me as the programme director. Um, so I think in general, it's anybody who's a qualified accountant uh, working, I would say, outside an accountancy practice. So therefore, they're working within business, uh, they're in um, perhaps a, a public sector organisation or even non-for-profit. Non so it can range from anything from commercial through to non-for-profit. Non, um, so what are the characters? There's no commonality there apart from their working outside practice. Um, and they're really ambitious people. That's what I learned from the ideal candidates earlier. Ambitious to develop their careers. Um, they want to actually deliver some change to their organisations, to their own role, develop their own role and their own function. Uh, and just develop some better thinking, some better communication skills and some better influence. Fantastic. And it's great to hear just the, the wide applicability of the course, um, which I knew myself, but it's great to talk through it today. And I suppose in, in summing up, Roy, you know, the, the videos today are you're meant to be a, a teaser, short and sweet. But in summing up before I let you go, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If someone was considering this, what might you say to them? 
I think, uh, think of this course as a real general play in your career. Um, take some time. Uh, it's easy to say, oh, just come and come and sign up. But I think, you know, take your time, research it, speak to the great team that we've got at Chartered Accountants Island, uh, and discuss through with them the, the nature of the programme. If you want more detail, you want to get into the nitty gritty of the content, you know, that, that query can be referred direct to me. I can chat through the detail of some of the elements of the syllabus uh, with you so that will help you to make up your mind and you can assess your own suitability for the program and if you're suitable and you you're sort of quite fancy it then just go for it you know make the best of your current role make the best of your development and aspire to new roles within finance this this program provides you with a stepping stone to do that um, you'll end up with more confident people skills, greater strategic sort of clarity and thought leadership about the role of finance and what you can do with things like data and analytics. Um, and you'll end up obviously with, a, with the credential of a diploma from Chartered Accountants Ireland, which is a hugely esteemed body, um, which, and the, the last benefit of course, is you can take back things which really help your organization so it's a win for everybody if you do if you do sign up to the program well what a note to end on roy thank you so much for coming along and it's sharing an absolute, all absolute pleasure i really enjoyed our conversation i've no doubt it's been valuable for those tuning in and for those watching folks for more information and for details on how to get in touch with us keep watching it's coming up next thanks again roy pleasure thanks so much Sinead.